Hey guys, I wanted to share a bit of an upsetting story, something that happened to me today. So, see that nice little chunk of wood there? Seven stack two by fours with nails hanging out. I was coming over to visit Shelby and you come down that hill there and right in front where you see the ramps right here, you know, let me find it right here. That, that chunk of wood was sitting about 18 inches uh, from the side of the road and where you see that car parked it was parked there but there was another SUV in front of it so I'm coming down the hill making a blind left hand turn into what is already an obstructed roadway to this and I just thought you know why why would you leave that on the road clearly on the road and swap sides because it would have been on my passenger side that's about where it was lined up on the car for me to hit it so I do a hard break, you know, thank God for Brembo's. I can't stress enough how well performing this car is, but you, you smash the brakes, you go around it. I come in and park right where I am. I have not moved since I got, got here. So I grab the cane, I walk my butt over there and I grab it and I just carry it back down here. It's probably a hundred feet, maybe, maybe 80 feet. And I just took it. I just was like, if your kids are going to put their stuff out there, like those ramps, those ramps quite often will be just left on the road. No big deal. Nobody pays any attention. You're coming around a blind corner. There's always cars parked there. So I took it. I just said, you know what? If this is going to happen every weekend, multiple times per week, then I'm not going to allow you to put it back out. It was left on the road as garbage. I picked it up as a concerned citizen and removed it like I would any piece of garbage left on the road. I mean, not my house, obviously, but I don't even do grass trimmings. Like, I would not allow my grass trimmings to be on the road because I can't stand when they get stuck to my rims on a hot day and it kind of bakes itself into my paint. It just drives me nuts. So I just, I try to be a courteous neighbor and not have things that obstruct the roadway so that they don't have to deal with it. And I appreciate when they do the same. Now, you can only imagine if I had to hit this with some speed because I didn't see it. There's also children running around on the road and just... It's an absolute chaos fest around a blind corner. So you come in slow, but if I didn't see this, I mean, we all know Camaros and visibility. I mean, you tell me. Likelihood of seeing that, not that great. It's pretty grayed out, blends in with the roadway pretty, pretty well. Man, would that be heartbreaking. And when I moved it, the parents, well, the mother in particular, screamed at me, saying, I will scratch your piece of beep car and you're so immature and you're unbelievable and you made my kid cry and I just I can't parent your children for you but when I was raised like there's just a certain level of respect you have to show the community and if you're not going to do it then you are going to lose it I would never enter somebody's property and take anything but if you're gonna leave it on a public roadway oh you betcha I'm gonna clean it up just like I clean up any trash and if you want to yell at me, go ahead. It means nothing to me. Um, my car losing a, damaging a tire, damaging a rim, we're talking thousands of dollars, 800 bucks for a tire in uh, Canadian dollars. The rim's probably another six, 700 bucks. Uh, you've got the air baffles down below. If it hits the splitter, if it does this, if it does that. And I mean, just why? When it does not need to happen. So I don't know. I don't know if you guys have had this happen or similar scenarios, but I am kind of loving the way the car's looking right now. Mm, it's pretty mean. That new ACS deck lid is pretty mean. It really uh, brought the brought the look together. So, not that that has anything to do with this video. I just wanted to share with you guys some concerning uh, experiences I had. You can see here, like it's a pretty good two by four. It would do a pretty good wall up underneath the car, and that's. You know, if it hit a tire, if it goes up the middle and gets caught on a line of some sort or smashes the exhaust, well, just never ending headaches for absolutely no reason. So, well, let me know. You guys got neighbors like that that you got to deal with all the time? Frustrating. Till next time, guys, drive safe, take care, and behave as always.